good morning class 12 so in the previous uh, lecture we discussed uh, defensive expenditure right so i hope uh, you are clear uh, with uh, chapter 7 up to the topic defensive expenditure today we are coming with a new topic that is externality if you see page number 127 we have a topic externality okay so each and every topic in this particular chapter is very important from isc point of view now this is a very simple topic uh, you have not heard about this particular topic or we have never discussed this particular point right so externality whenever this talks about trade whenever there is trade there is a buyer and there is a seller right so uh, there are two parties whenever we have trade going on there are two parties the buyer and the seller and what happens in any transaction is the buyer will also benefit and the seller will also benefit otherwise the transaction the trade would not take place unless both the parties benefit but today we are discussing a unique kind of transaction between the buyer and the seller where unknowingly unwittingly unwillingly uh, what happens is a third party get involved between the buyer and the seller there is a third party who comes in between unknowingly right uh, without any um, uh, role in the transaction this particular party plays uh, comes there and this particular party which is an external party has nothing to do with the trade that external party the third party is referred to as externality right so what happens i'm repeating again whenever there is trade between buyer and seller what happens most of the time is a third party unknowingly gets involved and what what have what is the effect of the third party is it might have a negative effect it might bring a positive effect so we will be discussing the positive externality and the negative externality so externality if you are asked what is externality it is the involvement of a third party between the buyer and the seller whenever there is any kind of transaction when there is a third party involved that third party is an external party which is called externality so you'll get the definition on page number 127 so first and foremost we will discuss about negative externality how a third party get involved because of which there is negative effect on the third party on the environment there is negative effect that is called negative externality so negative externality it is the action of a product or action of a producer on the consumer in a bad way okay it's a negative impact on the consumer because of which the consumer the environment suffers right so uh, there are certain examples given on page number 127 let me try to clarify to you what this means so we will be discussing few negative externalities right see there is an industry if you read point 1 see there is an industry which is manufacturing goods for its consumers so it is the industry which is the producer it is doing a good deed for its consumers by producing commodities but how does the consumer get affected because of this if you read point 1 it says the industry is going to use fossil fuel okay most of the indian industries are heavily dependent on fossil fuels so when fossil fuels are burned by the industries okay what is happening they are creating a negative impact in the form of air pollution acid rain damaging the historical monuments this is a negative externality though an industry is trying to do something very good for its consumers but how does the third party get negatively uh, affected is that the air gets polluted historical monuments are getting damaged there is acid rain because of which aquatic organisms are suffering so i hope it is clear that the third party is suffering because of somebody's action right then if you go to the next uh, topic uh, more or less the same thing again it talks of an industrial action industries which release the influence it is doing something good 
right it is uh, manufacturing products but what is the negative thing that is happening in the process is the effluents that are getting discharged from the industry it is entering the water bodies the nearby water bodies like rivers and then that becomes very injurious to the aquatic life the fishes and the other organisms are very badly affected so the third party the aquatic organisms they are very badly affected because of the action of the producer and the consumer i hope you are understanding the meaning of a third party unknowingly getting involved and getting harmed in a negative way right uh, the third um, example of uh, negative externality that is mentioned in your book is uh, there are two companies who are harvesting fish right uh, so fish is a common property for all so what uh, they have said is harvesting of fish by one company means less if one company harvests too much of aquatic uh, organism it means less of fishes for the other which is again a a uh, negative effect on the other party uh, then it says as consumers uh, we as consumers if there is a product in the market and i like the product very much and consumers demand the product okay industries are producing i am involved right i am a consumer the industry is producing for us and as a consumer because we like the product very much we demand the product so the production increases and because people demand the price goes up right the price goes very very high and because of my demand the because of consumers demand it since the price has risen what is happening is other people the third party here what is happening the other poor people they are not being able to afford that particular commodity because it has become very expensive so because of the uh, the industries and me the consumer and the producer the poor people who become the third party they are very badly affected because now they cannot consume the product because it has become very expensive right so negative externality what does negative externality mean negative externality is the third party which is involved in the trade and because of the producer and the consumer this third party is having a very bad effect it's not that they are knowingly involved in the transaction but unknowingly somewhere they get involved and then they start having negative effects because of that particular transaction that is called negative externality right uh, then we will come to the good part that is positive externality now sometimes what happens is there is a trade going on between a buyer and a seller there is a transaction going on and unknowingly the third party stands to benefit right they are they don't have to do anything but because of that particular transaction that is taking place the third party now starts getting positive effects so let's see some examples of uh, positive externality uh, this is a very important uh, icsc uh, sorry isc question for you all okay uh, uh, the first example that is uh, given is a beekeeper okay a beekeeper why does a beekeeper keep bees definitely he keeps bees for honey which he is going to sell to his consumers so the beekeeper will also benefit the consumers who buy the honey from him will also benefit this is a normal transaction but what is happening to the third party how is the third party involved and how are they positively gaining out of this transaction is these be suppose there is the where the beekeeper is there suppose in the nearby area there is a field right uh, somebody has a field so these bees they go and pollinate the flowers so that third party who was actually not a part of this transaction between the beekeeper and his consumers he also stands to benefit because his plants are pollinated because of the presence of bees so this is one example of positive externality right then uh, a technical spill over the second point uh, in your text it says a technical spill over occurs when a firm's invention see somebody invents something okay i invent something or you invent something something new a company a firm they invent something and then they uh, write that uh, invention on the product that they are selling 
that technical know-how that knowledge that is there of producing that particular commodity it goes down in the common people everybody understands they get that knowledge right so when i produce something and I, if i tell the people uh, how that particular commodity was made i give out my knowledge what will happen is the common people who are not even using the resource they will also benefit because of that particular knowledge right so this is another example of positive externality then it says the third point talks of maintaining a garden or a park by a real estate Uh, in the cities you have seen there are buildings there are real estates suppose a person keeps a small garden he maintains a small garden outside that area what happens automatically is that the price of that particular area goes high because of maintaining everybody likes to stay in a place where there is garden and greenery which you don't get to see in a city in kalingpong every house has a garden every ga house has a kitchen garden also right but if you go to the cities there are only buildings and buildings and buildings and people buy one first floor second floor third floor imagine if there are lots of building and that owner has maintained a garden a beautiful park then what happens is uh, the benefit is that automatically because of maintaining that the price of that particular uh, property becomes high right so this is another example of positive externality and uh, the last example that i would like to discuss with you is it says if people start using renewable energy in the uh, in the previous point when i was telling you about negative externality i told you how industries are using heavily dependent on fossil fuels and how that is having a negative effect on the uh, the environment as well as the people because the air is polluted now it says in positive externality it says if we start using renewable energy then that would lead to less of air pollution and if there is less of air pollution what will happen the buildings the monuments the people everybody starts benefiting and that becomes an example of positive externality right so this is the idea on externality i'm summarizing for you externality whenever there is trade or transaction going on between two parties that is the buyer and the seller sometimes unknowingly unwittingly a third party uh, gets involved in that transaction and that third party sometimes because of the transaction they may suffer very badly which we call negative externality or sometimes the third party stands to benefit and that is called positive externality right so and this is your idea on externality and in the in my next lecture i will be discussing another very very important topic that is cost benefit analysis okay thank you class